In this segment, we'll be discussing how to bring floor plans onto our touch tablet. One of the most preferred ways is to have your tablet connected to your PC through the USB cord. That allows your device, your tablet, to show up as a device under your Windows Explorer screen and gives you access to all the subfolders. And for the images that we're going to be working with for floor plans, they need to be in a JPEG or PNG format. And once we have them, we're actually going to place them on the tablet under a folder called Indoor Maps. On my desktop, I do have a sample floor plan. And it's more common to see most of your floor plans come in as a PDF. And if that's the case, there's a couple things we can do. If you have Adobe Acrobat, you can actually export this straight as an image file from Adobe. Um, but the slight problem with that is it has all your background information. And I'll show you another way we can do that as well. I'm going to save it as a JPEG. I'm going to save it back to my desktop, make sure it's in the right place. And it's going to save it as a JPEG. Now, the other option is to use the snipping tool, which is in most Windows based PCs. What this allows you to do is to just crop out the image you want. And then you can save that as well. I'm going to put that on the same place, except for, I'm going to call it floor plan two, just so you can see what the difference is when I go straight from Adobe versus the snipping tool. So now that I have these into a JPEG or PNG format, I'm going to copy them and take them to my tablet. Copy. Take them to my tablet under the Seahawk Touch folder and indoor maps. Now, now, now that the files are on the tablet, we can use the indoor map ability. We're going to call it to load an image. And floor plan one, that's a straight export from Adobe Acrobat. And it's asking for this registration process. And it really depends on what we're going to be doing with this data. If I'm not really worried about scale, I could use the auto register function. If I'm doing something like a grid test and I want to provide scale to my map, I can do the register with ruler feature or the manual register option. Uh, register with ruler is where we put a scale on the map. Manually registering is where we put in latitude, longitude, coordinate data in a couple different spots on our map. I prefer using register with ruler because that way I always have scale for my building. And if I don't have a scale bar, I can use a doorway. So I'm going to tap on my image. And I'm going to provide scale. To my map. And I'm going to use a doorway, which puts this at three feet. And this registration process creates something called a tab file. And the tab file is nothing more than a pointer back to our image file. Now you can see when I do an image straight from the PDF, all that extraneous information also comes with it. If I want to, I can put grids on there. I'm going to annotate where the placement of my antennas are. But at this point, my image is ready to be used for data collection. Now, my next image is the one that I did the crop with. And you can see it's just just the floor plan. So it gives you a little more detail. I can do the same process. I'm going to register this. Set the scale. And that's what that would look like in your data collection session.